everybody, welcome back to the Far Northwest Workshop. I'm Matthew. Watch me make this expansion table for my 14 inch bandsaw. Yes, that's right. There's wood, there's steel, there's machines and tools and things that make noise. Watch me use them to do this. It's an experiment. See how it goes. I mean, clearly it worked out because uh, I'm shooting this intro after the fact so you can. Oh, look at that. I wonder how you did that. So, uh, hey, thanks for coming back. Check it out. I need a larger table on the bandsaw. All of 14 by Diese Quattro. Yeah, that's not gonna cut it. I, I need I need it bigger, and uh, more importantly, I need it stable. Uh, this thing, I mean, they, this has a little bit of play. Oh, all right. Well, okay. So, I have the I have the trunnions loosened right now. Um, but otherwise, it just there's a little bit of play in it. I, I can I, if I put some heavy material on this thing, it. it eh. But so I'm gonna try to make it a larger table, which would throw it off even more because of the added weight. So I think I have figured out a way to make it larger and more stable. I decided not to leave that part in and we're just gonna edit right around that because uh, noise got wicked wobbly when I was cutting that piece and I should have known a lot better than to set my tripod on the table while I was cutting because um, I almost threw up just watching the dailies, you know, watching the playback. It was bad. All right, so here we are so far. I have no idea if this is gonna work. I mean, it stands to reason, like in my brain, it makes sense, but there might be a good many of you out there that are just like watching to uh, see the fail. Uh, whereas, you know, I, 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 Today, Junior. All right, so I saved you, spared you, rescued you from the watching of me uh, hacking out more pieces of angle iron on the portal bandsaw. Uh, I got my pieces right here and the short piece right here will be connecting us to that uh, brace that's anchored to the body. That, that's where our rigidity is going to come from.
Uh oh, what, what's going on? Oh, it doesn't fit. Because oh. the body. So I'll be notching that action out. That's this piece here. As you can see, I'm already marked. Got a couple of uh, cuts curved in there. Let's get her did. Just like that. All right. So for those of you that uh, love the way that I use an angle grinder, leave a comment because, you know, then I entice people to, you know, interact with me on, on the comment section and then it, it boosts my video higher up into the algorithm and then more people will see it and outrage baiting. Yeah. Stupid cat. Oh, that's nice. We love it. But your angle grinder is horrible. <laughs> your angle grinder. <laughs> now I'm uh, getting my welder set up. I'm going to be replacing these little uh, mock-up uh, magnets uh, with my larger, more robust, firm gripping magnets to hold these in place. Uh, that way in the whole magic of editing, when you see some uh, thing that just doesn't meet the standards of continuity, uh, yeah, you know, if you want uh, some professional uh, professionism of professionisery, well, go, go watch a television show. <laughs> go go watch uh, some other YouTuber who's got that stupid halo light thing, uh, you know, behind their camera or over their camera that gets that high uh, halo glowing in their eyes, that ring of light in their eyes. Man, that's am I the only person that's that's bothered by that? Just, you know, you want high production value? Go watch a movie, okay? I want to watch real people doing the real thing. Why am I telling you this? Yeah, I think those will hold. Critical point. This is tacked in place. We're going to be welding it into the uh, whatever that is right there, anchored into the body, give us rigidity. So I'm going to have to set up a series of clamps and then uh, so you can probably see that gap, that light through there. Yep, there it is. So you can see how much we're off. See that opening and closing? Close. Close. Yeah, so we get that squared to the bandsaw, table squared to the bandsaw blade, get us tacked up right there, check it again, finish it off.
right, little, just a hair of gap right there. I mean, that could be the bandsaw, that could be I think we got it. Oh my God, it's working. Oh God, it worked. Plants are off. Yeah, that is good enough for a bandsaw. I mean, this is not a finished tool. This is not a table saw, it's a bandsaw. And that blade is not a super rigid blade. So, I think we're well enough good. Let's continue. Well, of course you went under the goddamn table saw. Ah. Yes, there it is. I didn't look by all that stuff just to show you how cool this board is or anything. Worth their weight in gold. <laughs> I love you, Harbor Freight. I love you so hard. So I know part way through this you were thinking like, oh, the frame wraps around all the way in front of the, the, the slotty thing where the blade comes out action. What are you going to do about that? You're going to take the table off every time? You're going to take the table off every time? You got to change your blade? Is that, what, is that what you're doing now? Is that what we're... Don't be silly. Come on, I, I thought about that. I didn't just now realize that, oh my God, what was I thinking? I just, I might have just realized that. Look, I almost screwed up. What do you want me to say? I'm gonna go on an internet shame campaign me and I'll go on an apology campaign, you know, begging forgiveness, you know, from from the almighty Duresta. <laughs> Now, why am I clamping this uh, plate here over the cut that I'm making before I finish it? Those of you that know, well, then you know. For those of you that don't, there's a chance that there might be some tension 
in this arm here after having welded here and the ends and the other side. So if it's under tension and it pops together and that curve closes on my blade, on my cutoff wheel while I'm making that cut, I, I, that's, that's just a recipe for uh, a viral video of what not to do with angle grinders and I don't want to be that guy. Just as I suspected, it was under tension and I could feel it just a bit. Oh yeah, yeah that would have clamped my uh, cutoff wheel and I would have been in trouble. Next, I'm gonna cut the table. Uh, I've got a sheet of that Redotta pine three quarter inch ply crap from Home Depot. You know what, it, 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 it serves its purpose. And I've got my plan right here, look at that. I chicken scratched a plan, some measurements by which to guide my, uh, my journey. Now I'm gonna head back over to the table saw and make the long curve cut in the three quarter inch ply top through which the band saw blade can pass through when removing or placing back on the top. Let's go. Let's go. All right, I'm retarded. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that was kind of a freaky shot to do just now. I thought my phone was gonna tip over into the blade and dip. <laughs> slowly, slowly! Oh god. Oh my god. I have seen worse. Oh man, that is that is not moving for nothing. Square is not moving away from the blade at all. This is it is turning out to be everything I hoped and dreamed. I'm gonna set up a fence, try some resaw, see how it works. All right, I have already installed a new blade. I did use the uh, little plates, took them out, and the blade came right out of those curves that I cut uh, in the frame. Yes, it takes me about two minutes longer than a standard blade change would be on your cute little 14 by 14 bandsaw table. Wow, worth it, 100% worth it. Look what I got, a much larger surface area. This is great. Um, this is all attached, everything's rigid. The blade is square to the new tabletop and now I'm going to uh, resaw some very old, very dry, very hard ash through this new 5.8 3 TPI resaw blade. And uh, we'll see how it does. Uh, I don't have a fence system. I didn't have a fence system on here to begin with. Uh, I made my own and then I just clamp it to my table working area. And it's, it's fine, it's fine. I mean, uh, there, there's uh, there's tons of other ones where you can do like the what the super cool tools, you know, extruded aluminum channel action. I think that's great. That's really really cool. And you know what? Uh, I like making stuff. That's why I did this. I mean, there's probably something. This has got to be a product. It's got to be a product. Don't steal this. Morning.
So let's see how we did. Cutting 3 16 And that, that is about as good as you're going to get for a bandsaw. That went really, really well. Wonderful. All right, there you have it. My little custom bandsaw expansion table experiment. Hey, everything worked out. It worked out. Uh, really, really well, exceeded my expectations. Um, I, I, I don't know, what, what can I say? I, you know, if you have a 14 inch bandsaw, this, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to do this as well. Uh, mine has the six inch riser block, I already had two threaded uh, holes inside of it. So kind of made things a little bit easier in tying it into the cast iron body of the uh, bandsaw. So, um, but still, this was an experiment, and hopefully this gives you some ideas for your own equipment. And, uh, well, there you go. Everything worked. Uh, it, it, my, my wife's watching me now, so now I have to, like, be normal. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> shut up! I can't be normal. And I just told my wife to shut up in front of, like, you know, the world just now. 2,000 people. 2,000, yeah. <laughs> A bunch of people just watched me abuse my wife verbally just now. So, uh, come back from for more. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Uh, <laughs> all right. So, anyways, uh, bandsaw expansion. What should I call this thing? Should I market it? Maybe I can sell it to Rockler. Probably not. Uh, they're gonna see this, and uh, so is China. And I'm gonna get ripped off, and that's okay because uh, you know I made a hundred dollars last month on YouTube. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a crazy world out there right now. And, uh, you know, we need things like this in the world. We need expansion tables for 14 inch bandsaws in the world. It'll make it a, the world a much better place and uh, your shop a much uh, more satisfying uh, place to work in. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this gave you some ideas for your bandsaw. And uh, hey, I'm full of this stuff. I'm full of a lot of other things too. But I'm full of cool ideas like this that may or may not work. So uh, make sure you do all the things that you're asked to do on other videos at the end where they point to little things that may or may not be there and you, you know, like and follow and share and subscribe and send me money, uh, the actual, you know, greenback US legal tender in envelopes uh, in the mail to me. As always, Matthew, for Northwest Workshop, you can get it done. I hope I can help. So.